Independence, on the Stevenson from the Tristan to Lakeshore Drive, 33, and on the Ike from Thornhill to downtown, 54 minutes. Cloudy today, the high will be 63. Right now, it's 45 degrees. Weather is brought to you by Mazda. Thanks for making Yankow part of your life. I'm Kathy DeGreek on 97.9 The Lake from Golf No Ford. Click it, submit it, and drive today at GolfNoFordCredit.com. <coughs> so that, uh, that was there for any of the, I guess, expatriates from Chicago around the country and world. So, the, the Contras were a reaction to the Sandinistas. Uh, Contra is an umbrella term uh, that was unliked by the various forces, the, mainly three factions. I'm going to address two of them here. This is a, kind of an introduction and an overview. So you had the National Guard, uh, I believe it was the 15th of September movement, they called themselves before coming before becoming the FDN. Uh, and they were, they had uh, been Samosa supporters. The Contras came in, or the, the Sandinistas came in in 1979, and they were a socialist, uh, movement um, but actually the center of them was Marxist and you had these uh, Samosa supporters that uh, went up to uh, Honduras and were basically staging attacks there Honduras uh, aided in um, the fight against the the uh, the FMLN or the Fabuna Marti movement in El Salvador when uh, mil American military aid <laughs> was propping up a genocidal anti-Catholic, anti-working uh, class, anti-human, I mean just massacring everything in sight. Uh, it, it's, it's psychotic. It's like when they say the image of Satan is a dog chasing its own tail. I mean really how the hell was this country going to survive when they were just massacring every human being they could see in their own country, basically. Uh, the, um, so Honduras was aiding them and, and aiding government of El Salvador as well as the uh, Contra rebels, the pro Samosa Contra rebels uh, in, in the south of Honduras. Now, the, um, I think it's, this, yeah, in the South of Honduras, yeah. Now, they were American, they became American back, the Americans back to them. But the, and, and <coughs> there were people disillusioned with, there were, that had uh, helped the Sandinista revolution uh, take away the anti Samosa um, Contras. And they, didn't like what the San, the Sandinista government had become and the severe Marxism that were in many facets of the uh, Sandinista government, but they also despise the draining of the sea ocean, or the, sorry, the draining of the sea tactic or the drying of the ocean, which I have a video about, I'll link in the, in, uh, below, um, I believe I have two videos about it, so I'll put both links down. But uh, the, the horrendous draining of the sea tactic that was used in Vietnam and uh, El Salvador. So they hated what the American mili military, uh, I don't even want to say American military uh, industrial complex, the American CIA uh, was doing with, and, and how the Contras were acting, how the how the, the uh, pro Samosa Contras were acting, the national, the former National Guard. So they, this was under, um, I believe his name was Comandante Zero, or Commander Zero, uh, Cerro, actually. And they staged themselves in the northern part of Costa Rica. Uh, so getting into Nicaragua from the south. <coughs> Now, in Nicaragua, in, 
in Costa Rica, there was a man by the name of Hall, John Hall. And he was, he was uh, CIA friendly and he had land there and he was an American. And he was aiding the CIA and the other, the, um, the American backed countries. The third group were rural Highlanders and peasants and workers uh, who despised the Sandinista movement, who were fighting against uh, uh, the Sandinistas, and they, they're considered Contras. Now, of these three groups, you have two of them that were um, fighting for all the right reasons and because they loved their country and they didn't want to see their people be thrown into hell. Um, which they, they saw their people suffering. The Sandinistas, who, many of the Sandinista soldiers saw their people as suffering, so fought, um, and especially with the uh, pro-Samosa American-backed um, uh, Contras. They were fighting against them. And the American-backed Contras, again, the draining of the sea, they would go in, they would kill men, women, and children. They actually weren't trying to overthrow, uh, I don't believe they were trying to overthrow the Sandinista government. They were simply uh, operating with terror and basically narco-terrorists uh, that America was funding. So there was a halfway point between Medellin, Colombia and the United States and Mena, Arkansas, where the, uh, where, the, where the drug planes would land, refuel, and then go back to uh, Nicaragua and then Colombia. <laughs> now the Amer now the American or the I don't want to say the Americans because the Ameri American public was basically in the dark about this and there was not really a differentiation in the public eye of the Contras. They were all considered freedom fighters, but the CIA backed the Contras were bad news. Now the uh, <coughs> the CIA backed the CIA as well as the CIA backed Contras hated the other two factions of the Contras, but it's not like they were equally distributed. I mean, the CIA-backed uh, Contra faction was um, was just that. They were funded, aided by the CIA. And when the Bolin Amendment was, was uh, passed, or I believe, it, I'll correct this in the next video, I don't, I don't believe it was, I think it was put in because of El Salvador or another country, maybe, maybe it was put in for Nicaragua, but it said, no, the, the Congress is not going to fund this type of nonsense. And I'll make a separate video on that to clarify. So, Oliver North and what gets mistakenly called Iran-Contra of selling useless parts, and they, they really weren't weapons. They were, basically, you couldn't do anything with them to uh, the Iranians. Uh, well, apparently you couldn't do anything with them. To the Iranians, to... Uh, and overcharging them a lot to give money to the freedom fighters, except it didn't go to the, it really just went to the, the one faction of the ex-National Guard, or the, what, what was the ex-National Guard of, of uh, Nicaragua. Now, where did the money really come from? It came from cocaine and heroin and marijuana that was smuggled in by the CIA. Now, I always thought this was a myth. I was like, that's ridiculous when you hear people say it. And in most cases, it, it is. When you hear idiots say, CIA brought drugs into this country. I mean, yes and no. No, what they know about it is incorrect. What really happened is a lot stranger. Bill Clinton was part of this. George Bush Sr., uh, I believe we could say is part of this, but I'll say probably. Um, Reagan, how much he knew about what the Contras really were and about cocaine. He, he probably thought they were selling uh, these uh, unusable parts to the, um, to, the, um, uh, to the Iranians. That, and they were overcharging them by like three or four times because again, this is the 1980s when Reagan was president. 
how much does the president, I mean, actually get active? I mean, if you look at the the um, the ignorance and almost, uh, uh, I mean, blatant stupidity and unwillingness to know of Clinton and Obama, uh, as well as uh, George Bush and what people, what the advisors weren't telling the presidents. Now, I think the most negligent uh, president, that most people are going to disagree and say it was Clinton, but since the uh, since the Jimmy Carter administration, the most negligent uh, president has got to be Barack Obama, and probably the most vindictive. Well, no, that would have been that would have been Clinton. <coughs> Last George Bush, just an idiot, and just a fool. Um, like a child. Uh, I will end this video here uh, just because of a time thing uh, and go to part two. Contras in Paradise.